Hey guys, it's been quite a long time since I've done an unboxing, um, so this will be my first one in a very long time. Um, it is from a company called Unusual Watches, and they basically sell unusual watches. Uh, the one I bought um, is an e-ink watch, which I will get out for you in a second. Let me just put the camera down uh, for five seconds. Okay, and there it is, out of the packaging. Like magic. The company's called Unusual Watches, and they provide very, very unique timepieces. I was going to get this one, called the Abacus Watch. And the way it works is it tells the time via the ball. And the ball is magnetic, so you can knock the ball out of its place and it will roll around. But when you re uh, realign your arm so it's horizontal, uh, the ball goes back to the time it is. So the time here would be uh, 10 o'clock, because it's on the 10 o'clock mark. Um, that's really cool, and it, no battery required. It's basically just literally a magnet. Um, and it does a lot of other watches too, and obviously they ship to the US and all around Europe. Um, this is probably my invoice, yeah, cool. Um, this is the box itself. The one I bought is from a company called Phosphor. There you are, and uh, this is the original box. Obviously it's peeling a bit, but who cares, it's a box. And we should be able to just lift the lid off the top. Like that. And there's the watch itself there, so I'll get that out of the packaging now. Um, in the top here is instructions on how to use it. Obviously they'll be quite hard to get out. And there's also warranty information, just general notes on how to set the time and the date. Um, if I just macro that. There we go. Uh, but we are here to see the watch, not the packaging, so I'll put this box to one side. Oh, it smells weird. Ugh. This is the black e-ink phosphor watch. It's steel, so the whole band is steel as well. And it is matte black. I can feel it. It's matte black. And um, it looks very, very cool, in fact. If we just zoom in on it. There's obviously protective stuff on the screen, which is why it looks a bit scratched. Um, but the way it works is the same way that the Amazon Kindle works. Um, so if I go and grab my Kindle. You see the screens are very similar. They both are um, non-reflective e-ink screens, so they're good for reading books on, basically. If we turn on the Kindle, that's how it refreshes by missing making the page all black and then uh, the text appears and we can navigate through just like that and I suspect the same would apply to this but I'm not sure if it's turned on oh it is there we go so pressing the side obviously will change the uh, to date, date format, so here it's got the 5th of May, or the 4th of May, probably the 4th of May, so it's American, so it's backwards. There's an alarm, and there's the clock itself. Does look very cool. Is the time really 1.37, is that the time? It is, so it's already set uh, to be 1.37. It's only got two buttons, so the one on the left and the one on the right. The one on the right switches the colour, so you can have it uh, black text on a white background or white text on a back background, um, which I think looks cooler. Yeah, I think black, uh, white on black looks cool. And yeah, the build quality feels really sturdy. It is all steel. Uh, digital hour clock. IBP metal version, so that's the name of it. I'll put a link in the description anyway. Down the bottom, um, it's got the Phosphor logo. It's hard to do this. You can just see it. But it's not intrusive in any way. Um, and it's got a massive clock face, and obviously it's a good conversation starter to have with people that you've got a e-ink watch. If you don't like the steel version, you can buy other types. There are um, leather band 